Lincoln Loud, a great brother to his 10 sisters, a loving son to Rita and Lynn Sr., and a hardened criminal. Don't let that innocence smile fool ya. Lincoln has committed some serious crimes in the two seasons we've seen of The Loud House. Hi, I'm Hey Lizbeth with Channel Frederator, and today we're looking into exactly where Lincoln went wrong as we discuss seven things that Lincoln Loud would get locked up for in real life. <laughs> In the episode, Hand Me Downer, Lincoln inherits Lori's old bike, but he's afraid to ride it because it's pink, frilly, and has a custom plate that she made with his name on it. He takes it out for a ride, but naturally, a group of kids show up and make fun of the bike. To avoid being teased, Lincoln claims that it's not really his bike and that his bike is in the shop. They fall for the lie, but the bikers want him to come by the park with his actual bike to show it off. After they ride away, Lincoln decides to borrow Lynn's sweet BMX bike and show it off to the biker kids. And by borrow, we mean steal. That's right, folks. Lincoln Loud is a larcenist. Try saying that one five times fast. Good luck. I could barely say it once. Since the Loud House takes place in Michigan, the minimum value of a stolen item to be considered felony theft is $1,000. Lynn's bike is pretty sweet, but I doubt it's worth that much. I'm no BMX bike expert, but according to a quick Google search, an average kid bike goes for just under $100. So Lincoln would be looking at a misdemeanor in his home state. Punishment for larceny under Michigan law is a minimum fine of $5,000 and or imprisonment for no more than 93 days, which seems like an oddly specific amount of time, but we're just reporting the facts. Identity theft. In the episode, Job Insecurity, Lincoln and his sisters try to do a good thing and help their dad get a job. It sounds really nice and all, except that they kind of accidentally steal his identity in order to do so. Lincoln finds an IT job opening at a local startup, so he and his sisters fill out the job application for their father. However, in the state of Michigan, individuals are prohibited from obtaining employment by concealing, withholding, or misrepresenting representing his or her identity. Luckily for Lincoln, his father gets a job as a chef because punishment could include up to five years in prison and a $25,000 fine or both. But it doesn't just stop with Lynn Sr. Lincoln practically running an underground identity theft ring. In Toads and Tiaras, he convinces Lana to impersonate Lola to compete in a beauty contest to win him tickets to Dairyland. In The Loudest Yard, Lincoln persuades Lynn Jr. to impersonate him during his football matches. Is anybody's identity safe with Lincoln around? If we're assuming Lincoln's identity theft ring gets busted, then he's looking up to 15 years in prison and potentially a $75,000 fine. Recording. Hidden camera videos are all over the internet. Whether it's a prank, an accident, or just something funny happening, hidden camera videos always seem to do well. So well that there has even been multiple TV shows with hidden cameras, like Punked and Impractical Jokers. So how does it work from a legal standpoint? Well, you don't need permission to film someone in a public place. However, you do need their consent to upload it and show their face. In Making the Case, Lincoln secretly records his sister's most embarrassing moments in order to win a video contest at school. Unfortunately for Lincoln, he chooses to do so in the privacy of their home, which isn't exactly legal in Michigan. According to state laws, any person who installs in any private place without the consent of the person or persons entitled to privacy there any device for observing, photographing, or eavesdropping upon the sounds or events in such place or uses any such unauthorized installation is guilty of a felony. Said felony is punishable by imprisonment of up to two years or a minimum fine of $2,000 or both. Considering Lincoln does this 10 times over, he could be looking at 20 years and $20,000. Luckily for Lincoln, he learns his lesson by the end of the episode and the Loud Sisters don't press charges. Movie trespass. There's nothing worse than when you're a kid and you want to see a movie, but your parents just won't let you. Except, of course, jail. Jail might be worse. In the episode, The Price of Admission, Lincoln knows this feeling all too well. Early on in the episode, he asks his parents if he can see the latest scary movie, The Harvester, but his parents say no. Instead, Lincoln goes with Clyde to see the movie Blarney, The Luck of the Cretaceous. 
Except Lincoln decides to hop into the theater where the Harvester is being shown instead. A movie ticket is effectively a legal license from the theater owner to be in a theater for the viewing of a particular movie. In other words, your movie ticket is what keeps the theater from considering you a trespasser. In order to sell you the ticket, the theater consents to you occupying their land for the duration of the movie. If you sneak into the theater and watch a movie without a ticket, you'd be committing both theft and trespassing. However, since Lincoln bought a movie ticket, he isn't committing theft, but he is committing recreational trespassing. He only has a ticket for the Blarney movie, so he only has the theater owner's consent to be in that specific theater. As far as his punishment goes, this kind of trespassing would only be a misdemeanor, so Lincoln would face imprisonment for up to 30 days, a fine up to $250, or both. I know this one might seem kind of silly, but there are actually people in the real world who have gotten arrested for this before. Just wait a few months until it comes out on Blu-ray. Don't get arrested, kids. Breaking and entering. In the Loud House Christmas special, Levin Loud's a Leapin', Lincoln celebrates Christmas like any kid would by breaking into his neighbor's home. The fact that he does it on Christmas doesn't necessarily add anything to the crime, but it certainly makes it feel much more sinister. After a snow slide goes awry, Lincoln's sled ends up in the backyard of his neighbor, Mr. Grouse. Right off the bat, Lincoln attempts to trespass onto Mr. Grouse's yard, but he makes a loud, pun intended, noise and Mr. Grouse brings the sled in before Lincoln can retrieve it. Shortly after, Mr. Grouse leaves his home while Lincoln breaks into it, committing a third degree breaking and entering. Normally, this felony would result in five years of jail time, but during the break-in, Mr. Grouse comes home, which elevates Lincoln's breaking and entering from the third degree to the first degree. First degree breaking and entering is the most severe, and the punishment is up to 20 years in prison with potential for fines up to $5,000. Mail theft. Mail theft is a federal crime and a felony that could result in prison time, the loss of the right to vote or hold public office, and significant fines. Yes, you heard me right. Mail theft is no joke, people. In the episode, L is for Love, Lincoln grabs the mail and finds a love letter addressed to L Loud. Since all of the siblings have the same initials, he rounds up his sisters to open and read the letter. Pretty harmless, right? Nope. According to US law, whoever takes any letter from a mailbox before it has been delivered to the person to whom it was directed with design to obstruct the correspondence or to pry into the business or secrets of another or open it shall be fined or imprisoned no more than five years or both. In this case, since we learn later on in the episode that the letter was intended for Luna Loud, technically speaking, Lincoln and by extension his eight other sisters are all guilty of mail theft. I try telling you, mail theft is some serious stuff. Kidnapping. In the episode, Two Boys and a Baby, after picking up who they believe to be Lily in a crowd of mud-covered kids, Lincoln and Clyde head home. But they soon discover that they brought back a baby named Billy instead. That's two crimes for the price of one. You've got child abandonment and kidnapping all in the span of one 11-minute episode. Child abandonment is a very tricky situation that depends on a whole number of factors. We don't really have the time to cover it all right now, but Lincoln leaving Lily at the park would probably get him a felony sentence and one to three years in jail. Lynn Sr. and Rita would also likely lose custody of Lily, and honestly, this is all just getting kind of sad. I wasn't expecting it to get this dark. But anyway, the show must go on, and Lincoln has another crime to answer for, kidnapping. This may come as a big shock to you, but Michigan doesn't really appreciate kidnapping. For those who can't tell, that was sarcasm. In Michigan, kidnapping is a felony and is punishable by imprisonment for life or any term of years, a maximum $50,000 fine, or both. So there you have it. I'm Hey Lizbeth, and thanks for watching 7 Crimes That Would Put Lincoln Loud in Jail in Real Life. According to our math, Lincoln would be looking at fines close to $175,000 and life in jail. And that's only for the crimes we tracked here. Did you find anything else? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to click the bell icon to become part of the notification squad. If you liked the video, make sure to hit subscribe so you always know when we have something new. And remember, Frederator loves you.